Hi, my name is uh, Samir Parmar. I'm with uh, Sick Incorporated, and uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the IDC 3D item detect solution over here. This is uh, the Promat show, and we are in the Boimer booth in January 2013. What we have is the IDC 3D camera, and uh, a very nice, clean, self installed, self integrated unit. We have a laser light kind of see being projected on the cross belt on one side of it and the camera is looking at the displacement of that laser line. So at a single point in time what we see is a single cross-sectional profile. As the conveyor is moving we acquire multiple of those profiles, combine them together to create a complete 3D image. So the benefit of this system is that as you can see that whenever there's a product the flashing green light indicating that Yes, the product is there. The benefit of this system is that we are no longer looking at a contrast. We are looking at true 3D data. So if there is height data, even if that is a, a black object on a black background, we can still evaluate it. Furthermore, if there are stickers on the tray which are lighter color, we recognize they are stickers and we don't classify that tray as having a product or false trigger that tray. Very small footprint. Right there. Okay, yeah. And there's a stack like over here. No PC is required to get a digital output or position data for where the item is located on the train. I have a PC over here for visualization purposes, but a PC is not required because this is a smart camera. We also have a trigger sensor over here at the bottom, which is triggering on every train. The customer wants to provide that signal for every trade, we don't need that. So you see the game that it's a very nice, small footprint, very clean installation, no external light required. There's a lot of ambient light over here, which is not appearing to disturb the existing solution because we are simply looking at our own integrated laser light. The software we are using over here uh, is IDC Studio software. So I'll show you what a typical 3D image looks like once I close over here. So you can get an idea of what a 3D image looks like once we get it from this system. So, in here, there is a 3D image of an empty cross belt. A lot of graininess is visible over here because obviously the cross belt itself has a lot of dips and valleys in there. But we can take a look at now what uh, uh, image looks with uh, with a product on the tray over here. So there is uh, one of the products on the tray. Again, some noise. You kind of see that there's some noise depending on the type of object you're looking at. So this is probably uh, one of the packages which has a cloth and a clear plastic wrapped around it. So you're getting some noise up and down there. That doesn't matter, however, because it's still good enough signal to evaluate whether a product is there or not there, and also for us to say that where exactly the product is located. Hopefully this gives you enough idea of how the item detect solution works using IGC3D. Thank you for your attention.